Okay, everyone, places. This is the final scene, so let's make this one count. And... action. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. Um, it's nearly Christmas. Nearly a Christmas video. Not quite, but almost. So this video doesn't have a number because I'm fed up with putting numbers on now. I've gone past my 52. I think I'm on video number 60. So from now on, no numbers on videos, just titles like everybody else. So this video is about this. The Microscope 2000 Universal PC Diagnostic Software. Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. It's not really software. It's hardware as well. So it comes in this PVC pouch with Micro 2000 on the bottom, microscope in gold on the spine, and then the back's completely black. So I thought I'd do a quick video on this because it's quite an interesting piece of kit. Quite old, 20 years old I think this, um, this year, hence the 2000. Um, this is old school PC diagnostics and inside you get diagnostic CDs you get devices that you can plug in to serial port parallel port so you get 9 pin serial port which is like a like a dongle you get printer port and parallel port and these are diagnostic dongles so in here there's like electronics that give you diagnostics and then this is an RS232 tester so these are quite good these tell you uh, carrier detect clear to send transmission things against your serial port so you know that your serial communications is working so you get those three this is the tricky bit to open you also get if I can push these out some CDs okay so you get a memory scope tester okay which just appears to be A written disc now I think that maybe it came off because you do get a USB memory stick and all the software's on here so I think that whoever had this before me took the software from here and put it on there for the machines that he'd got that didn't boot from USB and there's also there's also this disc which is the A plus test CD now this is actually the original CD I think that came with it so I don't think he burnt this so that may have come with the disc or uh, with, with the actual pack or whoever had this before me lost the original and made a copy so that's the other CD then we've got the original microscope CD which as you can see is can you see that on the fingerprints properly properly written oh there's the new light oh hello um properly burned properly mastered and properly print well i say properly mastered it's actually it's um yeah it's not pressed it's actually written oh the things that you do hey in those days 20 years ago you got away with a load and then finally which may have been in this pack and may not is this and this is ICS PC repair course now I've looked at this this is just a copy again on a DVD but I've looked at this and to be fair the quality even for 20 years ago is pretty naff it's um, VHS tape digitized by a PC grabber and then put onto disk and it really is quite bad there's all wobbly wavy lines on the video 
and the sound is atrocious and it's in probably I think 400 by 200 at the most maybe maybe 320 by 200 it's really quite dire and bad quality wise so they go back in there and then this has I can do this because it's all hunched up where are we? yeah so that has then velcro that goes on there those then go back into their little home and then we get round to this side so in here is the USB stick just a USB stick I think it's a 4 gig oh no 2 gig and on it is the software from here but booting up on a USB stick so that gives you the option to use it on newer machines that boot from USB We'll put this to the, side, uh, to the side for one moment and then look at the manuals that you get. So, you get the Microscope 2000 manual, also it's got a date of 2005. So it's still 14 years old, so it's still almost retro. And in it, it shows you how to do your diagnostics. Um, it shows how old it is because I just noticed there, there was a section that said, if I can find it, no, and I can't. That's a so and so, isn't it? Okay. There's a section in here that mentions SCSI and IDE drives. Oh, there. There we go. So, SCSI slash IDE device editor. So, this is just as SATA, I think, was becoming more prevalent. Um, presumably, the SATA drives are more smart. Don't know. Um, it didn't include it, so it's possibly just an older revision. Put that to one side. Also, there is a technical support document with micro2000.co.uk. Not sure whether that website is available anymore. I have not checked. And what else have we got? There's some more pieces in here. I just checked to make sure they've not got addresses on. No, they haven't. So there's getting started with your USB stick. Um, plug the microscope on the stick into a USB 2 port that is on the computer, not an external hub. And then turn on your machine, blah, blah, blah. So, yes. There is a huh, quick start guide. A4 sheet tells you what to do. And then there is a post probe ebook. And this is the instructions for using this card so that's good so it looks like it looks like it is a complete set so now the interesting bit is the card that's in here sealed in anti-static bag so we have the card this is the post probe 2.1 this is the power on self test self tester so if your post doesn't boot on your machine then you plug that into the PCI slot or that into the ISA slot and it's an 8 bit ISA so it shows how old this machine is and then you get various diagnostics on here you've got a reset you've got pins which what do they say on there they say ground 3 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt and 12 volt so you can take pins from here and then you've also got diagnostic LEDs so that could be the reset switch when you plug it into the ISA you plug it into the PCI that will be your reset switch and that probably tells you the PCI lanes I would imagine and then you've got dip switches more LED lights there. I'm not sure why there's a hole in there. Oh, because, look at that, there's another set of... So, that way probably shows on there. That way probably shows on there because the PCI adapters go that way. So your PCI small bit is on that side, I think, is it? I can't remember. If it's on that way, then probably that's the PCI. If it's that way, that's for the PCI. Then it has various... Jumper settings, 
Is that the right way? Is that upside down? I can't see because my glasses don't work very well. And oh, there we go. So you've got the silk screening on oh, on the board. So that there tells you oh, there the voltages for those pins on that side. So unfortunately. I can't plug this in and try it. I know, I know it works, I've tried it on a, on a machine recently. But I can't plug this in and show you because my PC that I use for editing videos and for gaming um, under the desk down here is a slimline tower. Which means it has one expansion slot for the video card and that's PCIe Express. Not PCI. So I don't actually have... I do have a machine with PCI in it, but the case is so tiny this wouldn't fit in, so I can't show you unfortunately. But but trust me, it does work and it does show the A zero B one 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 two three codes for the BIOS. Now years ago, your computer manual came with a a BIOS message number error list, and that will tell you what it is. And the same with this in here, I think. So, that's how we used to diagnose PCs way back at the turn of the century when I was a support technician and an IT manager and um, just as plug and play was finally taking a foothold before that we'd have had to take all the jumpers off and configure ports and things like that which wasn't fun. So. Very brief video, which I hope you enjoyed. Quick overview of the card, how you plug it in. Um, the diagnostics that you can do on an old retro PC. And what one of these looks like. Because these don't come up very often, to be honest. They, um, they certainly don't appear at car boots anymore, which they used to do a lot of. And they're very difficult to get hold of and to see. So I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload more videos. Leave me a comment. Have you used one of these before? Have you used it to diagnose a faulty retro PC? Or have you used it in a commercial environment where you were the IT technician? Let me know. Um, it's a bit good to know how many people have actually used these before. And uh, if you still use them now. Again, let me know. Keep watching the channel. There's going to be more uh, more videos coming. There will be an Atari ST refurb video coming fairly soon, either just before Christmas or just after Christmas. I'm waiting for that to turn up in the post. And there will be more retro reviews of little desktop arcade machines, probably. And retro shenanigans just like that. Anyway... As I said before, very short video. Thanks for watching. Good night. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap.